guess so. Okay, we'll go ahead and call to uh, order the uh, regular meeting of the Sacramento Area Sewer District. And that is a complete sentence now. <laughs> Um, if we can go ahead and have a roll call, please. Good morning, Member Aquino. Here. Karpinski Costa. Present. Desmond. Frost. Here. Kaplan. Here. Kennedy. Here. Uh, Robles. Present. Serna. Here. Vegas. Here. And Hume. Here. And you do have a quorum. Thank you. And now if you would please address the flag and join uh, Director Kaplan in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Now, Madam Clerk, if you would read the um, uh, replay statement and the public comment procedures. This meeting of the Sacramento Area Sewer District is being broadcast live on Metro Cable 14, the local government affairs channel on the Comcast Consolidated Communications and AT&T U-verse cable systems. This meeting is closed captioned and live streamed at metro14live.sacccounty.gov. Today's meeting will replay Sunday, January 14th at 9 a.m. on channel 14. This meeting can also be viewed at youtube.com backslash Metro Cable 14. In accordance with government code 54952.3, compensation for meeting of this legislative body is required to be verbally disclosed. The amount of $100 will be paid for each member participating today as a member of the Sacramento Area Sewer District. Compensation for Sacramento County Supervisors and City of Sacramento Council members is paid to the county and city respectively to partially offset the costs of those governments. Compensation for other board members is delivered to the individuals. To make an in-person public comment, please complete a speaker request form and hand it to the clerk. The chairperson will call your name when it is your turn to make a comment. To make a public comment by phone, dial 916-875-2500 and follow the prompts to be placed in queue for a specific agenda off agenda item. Clerk staff will transfer each caller into the meeting. You may send written comments by email to boardclerk at sitecounty.gov. Your comment will be routed to the board and filed in the record and that concludes this clerk statement. Great, thank you. All right, I believe that moves us on to our first uh, item of business. I have opened the meeting as vice chair, and now it is the will of the board of what we would like to do from here. I can uh, walk you through the steps. Actually, if, if we could, um, our communications department's here. We were hoping to get a picture of you all as the new board uh, for our social media. If we could do that real quick. Sure. Yeah, you, seated at the dais. Yeah, if, if you want to move over, that, that works too. Yeah. You want us to stand behind the chairs? Or? Let's stand behind the chairs. It makes me look much less socially awkward if they would move over. <laughs> 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 Which is why you can't believe anything you see on social media. Right. <laughs> oh, let's just do here, yeah. Thank you. It's good to know I'm the only one representing this <laughs> So uh, very briefly, uh, just for everyone's uh, information to understand how this generally works, uh, we alternate the chair between a city and a county member each year. And uh, the, it's a two-year commitment, so if you are the vice chair the first year, then the second year you become the chair. And right now we have uh, direct, well, Director Hume is currently the vice chair, but standing in as the chair um, with, and with the county. And then uh, the city representative, uh, West Sacramento, was next in line. They've asked to defer, and so the next uh, city in line is Citrus Heights, and so I've spoken with uh, Director Karpinski Costa, and she was eager to uh, to join the rotation. So that would be my recommendation. Only because here. only because Director Hume never misses meetings. Uh, I, I assured her of that. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Move that staff recommendation. Second. Second. All right. We have a motion and a couple of seconds. Any further discussion? No. Uh, roll call vote, or did we use the electronic system? 
Actually, we're not going to use the electronic system. There is a technical dif some technical difficulty, so it, we could do a voice vote. That's fine. Please. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Uh, I was going to say um, there are no public comments. Just Thank you. To let you know. <laughs> sorry. I, yeah, I meant to ask, but you know, they, they were chomping at the bit to vote. I didn't want to. It's a tenuous balance here, and I, I wanted to seize while the iron was hot. And that sounds like the motion passes by unanimous vote. Thank you. Okay, very good. And uh, I believe that moves us on to the closed session item. If we can have the clerk please read uh, the item, and then I do have a comment from a, a director. Can I read that? Uh, closed session is conference with legal counsel, initiation of litigation, one potential case. Okay. Thank you, Chair Hume. I just want to publicly state for the record, uh, as a result of the employment of my husband, I checked if there was any actual perceived conflict. There is none um, on this matter, but I just wanted to state it for the record. Very good. In that case, we will uh, move to closed session. Okay, we have returned from closed session. We have nothing to report out, I believe. Is that correct? Okay, very good. All right, having returned from closed session, we will move on with the remainder of the agenda. And I believe that takes us to timed matters. I'm sorry, Chairperson Hume, I will need to take um, a roll call we to establish the quorum. Form. Very yes. good. Thank you. Member Thank Aquino? You. Here. Carpinzi Costa? Present. Frost? Here. Kaplan? Here. Kennedy? Robles? Present. Serna? Here. Villegas? Here. And Hume? Here. And you do have a quorum. Great. I didn't think we had lost anybody, so that's good. All right, now we'll move on to time matters, please. Um, item number two is miscellaneous director and district engineer matters. Just want to make a couple um, quick uh, comments. First of all, just now that we are officially merged, um, technically there's not a lot of difference in how we're operating, but one of the things I'm seeing already is that people are looking at things from a little broader perspective and starting to think about how to be more efficient, how to kind of put things together that used to be maybe two separate or parallel things happening. Um, a couple of the key things that we'll be working on, uh, we're starting to gear up to do a new strategic plan that would be, obviously we used to do two of them, we'll, we'll have one. Um, so that strategic planning efforts going on, or not going on yet, but it will be uh, over the course of 2024. Um, and then also we will start to look at our organizational structure. That's down the road a little ways, but um, we wanna start thinking about it because right now there's already a lot of speculation. Staff, staff is kind of going, hmm, I wonder how we're going to reorganize now that we have this single organization. So these are just some of the things that are um, kind of sort of coming into play over the next year or so. I uh, just wanted to mention our next meeting is January 24th. I apologize that this is such a short meeting. Uh, uh, we always try to uh, move the items around and cancel meetings when we can. This year in particular, mostly up through April, we're gonna have a lot of uh, human resource related items due to our transition of staffing and the need for these to keep coming as quickly as we can get them out. So it may cause us to have an extra meeting here or there. Um, obviously not an extra meeting, but rather than canceling one, we may have to have both in a month. So just kind of heads up on that. But January 24th will be our next one. And that's all I had. All right, any comments from directors? Okay, then that takes us to public comment on items not on the agenda, noting no members of the public in the audience. Do we, I don't think this, is this a hybrid meeting where there's an opportunity for a phone comment? Yes, sir. Do we have anybody? And we do not have anyone in the queue for public comments on either items um, two or three. Okay, Mr. Lecture. Yes, sir. I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but um, on that subject of the phones, um, most other, boards and commissions have either already switched to completely back in person or in the process of doing that. So um, I would like to suggest to the chairmanship that we likewise do the same. It's good by me. Anybody oppose? Do we need to take we a formal, no, agendize it? it? Agenda. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so if we could do that for the okay. 24th if possible. Yep. 
Terrific. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good point. All right, that concludes uh, item three then. On to the consent uh, calendar. Um, items four through seven. Anybody have any comments or would like an item pulled? All right, we have a motion. Second. We have a second from Director Cerna. Is there any public comment on this item? We do not have any public comments for consent calendar. All right, in that case, everybody in favor of moving the consent, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Okay, and that, I believe, brings us to the end of our agenda. Thank you all. Uh, and, and whoever scheduled the 1015, well done. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> Boom. Thank you. Oh,